Hey everyone, Asha here from Pandemonium. Um, I think I want to hug a polar bear today. Let's go. upset I didn't get to hug the polar bear. Bye Mr. Polar Bear. Don't make fun of my sticker collecting. I'm making fun of the sticker collecting. Awesome, I got my sticker. So it's gonna go with the rest of my stickers. Right here on my door. Um, uh, where am I gonna put it? Uh, right here? Yeah, that seems good. Um, I bought the Hiked It, Liked It sticker, since um, in my last video I actually hiked this place, so I thought that was appropriate. Yay! Alright, that was awesome, but I think it's time to go camping. Yeah! Awesome, let's hit the road. Alright everybody, well we made it to the campsite, so let me show you around. Mimi, come on, out. Good girl. It's a pretty shaded um, campground, but we were lucky and able to find a spot where the solar panels are actually getting sun, so that's awesome. I'm going to untie the solar panels. Um, this camping spot is $16 a night, and Chris is going to find a place to prop his tent, right? I'm just going to sleep under the stars. I'm going to sleep on the picnic table. Oh, okay. Go for it. <laughs> What you find, Moo Moo, huh? Alright, I heard there are a lot of ticks here, so we need to be a bit careful. Because definitely don't want to get Lyme disease. It's like, it's like a welt. What, Lyme disease? Yeah. Oh, that's it? Yeah, and then like, you, it's easily treatable. Oh, okay. Well, I still don't want it. We should definitely have a fire tonight. So, it's time to collect some wood. I'll get to work. Awesome. <laughs> got back we paid our dues yay sixteen dollars come on Mimu out there are no hookups here but they do have drinking water and they also have a dump station but no electricity and still solar on the solar panels oh and your tent set up cool no, it's just, it's just well set up. somewhat set up so why exactly are you standing on a pool, I mean, uh, the picnic table? To uh, make me seem dull. Well, okay then. What you smelling, man? Some grass? Some grass? Mm-hmm. Oh, you eat the grass. Well, I finally have the solar panels lifted up. 
This is like the first time I've ever done this, but I figured since we're at a park and we're here for a day, let's go ahead and um, lift it up. Right now it's just rigged up with poles and stuff that I have, but I'm actually going to get extending rods for these um, panels so that way I don't have to worry about this. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. My next project. But not bad though. Alright, it's a pretty warm day. I definitely think it's ice cream time. Glad I got these ice cream sandwiches. Mmm. Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Got a cute little fire going. I'm making cheddar honey biscuits to put on the fire for later. So what I did is I just um, cut up the biscuit and put um, slices of cheddar, white cheddar and um, regular cheddar and then put honey on top of it and then I'm just going to wrap it up in the tin foil like this and put it on the fire and let it um, set for like about a minute or two just so everything melts. Doing a test run of the cheddar honey biscuits. This is test run number one <laughs> just to see how they turn out. Test subject number one. Oh, that looks really good. Mm, the honey's melted. The cheddar's melted. And there's a tick on me! What? Just go throw them in the fire. Oh, yeah. Alright. Take two. Let's try this again. They look like they turned out awesome. But the taste test is... Alright. Ow, hot, hot, hot. Mmm. Actually, the bottoms got burnt. Yeah. So not as long next time. Or maybe not directly into the fire. But it's still good, though. Mmm. -hmm. Who is the moo moo? I just had to pull some ticks off you. This place is pretty bad for ticks, but, um... I just wanted to uh, say also that Chris just told me that there are um, showers in the bathroom, so that's pretty awesome. The only thing they don't have here is electricity, but we're good on that part, aren't we, Moo Moo? Yep. Give kisses, kisses. Well, it's later in the day, and it's cooled off quite a bit. Plus, we'll be walking in the woods, so we're going to go for um, a quick hike. And it's the perimeter hike. I've already hiked here one time before, but it was a short hike. Um, we're going to go on the perimeter hike, which is a little longer. Yeah, let's do that before dinner. Go for it. This path that we're on now actually leads to the perimeter trail and also leads to the metro if you want to take the metro into D.C. Awesome. Look at the deer. Hey, deer. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, there's another one. All right, we've come to the intersection. That way goes through the perimeter trail. A little sign here got ticks. Yes, there's a lot of ticks, so you gotta be. Oh, sorry, gotta be careful. And this way is to the metro. So if you want to get to the metro to go to DC. This is the way you take right here. Got a little stream going. This is pretty. Awesome. So much wildlife. <laughs> well, I'm going to walk down here. I want to see exactly where the metro thing leads to. Just, just in case I'm ever back here so I know. Just in case I ever want to go to take the metro to D.C. I hear a train. I'm not sure exactly what it leads to, if this is the metro bus or the metro subway station. So I'm going to check it out. So um, we just completed one mile and I think I see the road coming up in the distance. I guess I'll see you when I get there. All right, it leads out to the road. Um, Painted Branch Parkway. Kenworth Avenue. So I guess the metro is just the the bus stop then. We'll walk up here and see a little bit. Alright, this is North Maryland 201. Um, 
Oh, yeah. There's the bus stop right there. Okay, there's a number on there. It's 202-637-7000. That way you can find out when the next bus is coming. What do you think, Moo Moo? <laughs> All right, so we're going to head back now that we see. I didn't know if it was uh, a subway station or if it was the bus, so it is the bus. All right, back on the trail. Go, Moo Moo, go. Good girl. So the bus stop is actually 1.15 miles so from my spot, so that's not bad. Sometimes a walk through the woods can be so beautiful. It's really amazing back here. Yes, I definitely feel like um, this scenery belongs on the set of a movie. It's so awesome. Look at the birds playing. <laughs> They're taking a walk with me on the path. Go birdies. Oh, you want to go that way, Moo Moo? I thought we'd go this way. Huh? Come on, let's go this way. She's like, no, go this way. I want to see the deer again. Um, well, we've made it back to the intersection here. We wanted to go that way, but I think we're going to take this way. Oh, daddy long legs. Looky, looky. <laughs> the most poisonous um, spider, but their teeth are too small to hurt us. This is definitely a very whimsical and magical place. Just like the birds chirping and animals that you see and wildlife. It's really beautiful here. The 3.2 miles. Well, that's kind of neat and scary at the same time. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> go under fast. There's a lot of fallen trees around here. Wow, this is definitely beautiful through here. Look at that big tree that's fallen down. <laughs> that's massive. Jeez. Wow, there's more trees than the big root systems that fell down. There's like three or four over there. Well, here's 3.6. Uh, there's another one. So that must be a common occurrence here. Alright. So this leads back to our campground. Campground area D. That's where we're staying. Um, let's see. So we started here. And we go. And we're here now. So probably going to walk a little further. Why not? <laughs> it's beautiful. 3.8 miles. Awesome. I love old bridges like this. No trolls under this bridge. Awesome. Four point two miles. Four point four miles. We're at the Dogwood Trail Connector. I had taken that trail. Actually, me and Chris had taken that trail. 4.8 miles. Five miles. Wow, looks like the tree fell through the bridge. Hopefully it didn't break it. Well, it did the railings. Oh. 5.2 miles. Get the squirrel, get the squirrel. <laughs> You gonna catch your squirrel today, Moo Moo? 5.3 miles. All right, well, um, I guess the trail is 5.3 miles long. We've already been a little over four miles. So we're gonna continue on and do the other half of this and come back around. Hopefully we can do it before nightfall. Because I really, really, really want to accomplish this trail. That'll be awesome. Yay, let's go. All 
love the tall grass here. This is an awesome little spot. 0.2 miles. Only 2.8 miles left. 0.4 miles. Wow, this comes really close to the interstate. Loud. 0.6 miles. 0.8 miles. All right, Dogwood parking area straight ahead. We went straight ahead. I went to the parking area. I had to backtrack. Oh, Lordy. The perimeter trail goes this way, actually. Oh, that was some steep climbing right there. All right, come on, Mumu. Let's finish this. Darn it. <laughs> One mile. 0.2 miles. 1.4 miles. 1.6 miles. 1.8 miles. Two miles. One more mile to go. 2.2 miles. 2.4 miles. Oh, look at a deer. <laughs> Another one. Awesome. Hey, deer. There's the deer. I doubt you can see her. She's um, behind the shrubs over there. She's staring at me. <laughs> I know I've been doing just the mile markers, but I wanted to show you this spot. It's beautiful. It's awesome. That is just gorgeous. Two point six miles, two point eight miles, three miles. All right, so we made it full circle and we were back to where we started at the crossroads with a bit of side tracks here and there. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. I'm glad I actually finished the trail. So I feel accomplished and we're going to head back to the RV and I'll let you know how many miles we actually walked today. All right, we made it back to Panda. We walked over three hours and eight and a half miles. So I am tuckered out. All right. There's Panda. And there's Chris. Hey. <laughs> um, eight and a half miles. I am so war I'm starving. I'm ready to get cooking. Are you hungry? Hey, yeah. chill, chill out. Go in, Mumu. Oh, I missed her so much. <laughs> I've just been waiting here. Well, uh. oh, I could have took him on the walk. I'm sure that would have tuckered him out eight and a half miles. You would have finished it in half the time because he would have pulled you the whole way. I know, probably. Okay. But, yeah, time to I'm get ready. cooking. Oh, I see you got the fire still going. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get this stuff together. Mmm, chili and pork chops. Everything's looking good so far. I've got um, graham cracker and Nutella and a marshmallow. Yay, s'mores. <laughs> what you doing, Moo Moo? No, be careful, that's fire. Go, no, go. Good girl. So good. Mm. Yummy. Mm. All right, take two on these biscuits. <laughs> They're not right on the fire this time. They shouldn't get um, burnt. Yep. Oh, chili looks good. The pork chops are almost done too. All right, yay. All right, looks awesome. Well, the biscuit didn't burn uh, with it being up above the fire. It turned out awesome. Everything turned out awesome. The chili's good and the pork chop is good. So we're going to enjoy our food and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.